Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another Q&A video, you guys. It has been, it's been just about a month since our last one. Man, how time flies. <laughs> it's so crazy how time just told, I'm like, it's probably been a couple weeks and I look back, oh no, it's been a month, it's been a little over a month. <laughs> I'm like, here we are. <laughs> so anyways, I love that you guys are loving this style of video. This is just a very casual, laid back, just chit chat with friends kind of video. I personally really like Q&A videos to watch. Um, I wasn't sure how you guys were going to like them. It was suggested um, from a friend here that I maybe give this a try. And you guys have been really amazing with your love and support and liking this type of video. So if you do like the Q and A style video of just like hang out with friends and chit chat, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you like this type of content and I'll continue doing them. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Cause we have, we have some questions. I've in my mind, I'm thinking I should be able to get through this pretty quick. <laughs> you guys are amazing and you love long videos. I'm long winded. So, you're in luck. I will just tell you before we actually get started, uh, my boy Ranger is down here at my feet and he's sleeping. So if you hear moaning and groaning, it's him. <laughs> it's not my stomach growling or anything. Um, he's just, he's taking a little snooze. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one, now, if you have a question you want me to answer, you can either leave a question on the comments of this particular, of this video, or you can always email them in uh, to my personal email, which is lmrowberry at gmail.com. And I will be addressing questions that way. So um, this one is from our friend Mary and she said, love this, yes to the hand sanitizer. I know I really wish Sensi would come back to the hand sanitizer. They had it a hundred years ago and it was amazing. And I don't know why they got rid of it. I wish they would bring it back. Fingers crossed, maybe at some point they will. Um, so here's my question. Why don't they do seasonal series of coffee drink scents? It seems like such a no brainer for each catalog to have its seasonal coffee beverage rock star. I totally agree. And I wish I had an answer. <laughs> I was like, do I even address this question? But I also don't want to ignore you either. I just, I wish I had like super secret squirrel information. I don't. Um, we used to have a really great one called Coffee Tree. That was a really great one. That one will come back from time to time with Bring Back My Bar. I should have checked before. I don't know if that one is one that's coming back in January or not. Um, but once in a while it will come back for bring back my bar, which is really great. We also had one, not totally straight coffee, but uh, mocha doodle, that one was around for a long time. And that one was a really good one as well. I think it would be really fun to have like a drink collection, like different coffee drinks or something. I think that would be a super, we did a drink collection before and it was all cocktail inspired and it was super fun. That's how Pina Colada Cha Cha came around. Um, Mojito Mambo, what were the other ones? Um, they were cocktail inspired scents and they were fantastic. So Lemon Drop It Low, my favorite. If that one ever comes back, if it ever shows up, bring back my bar voting. It did show up last time, but it didn't make the cut. Lemon Drop It Low, I will pay you. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But seriously, it's such a good one. <sighs> I'm hoarding like my last like little bit of brick that I have left of that. Anyways, getting back on track. This is why these videos wind up being an hour long. Um, I totally agree. I think having a, a signature coffee scent just like as a staple in the catalog should be a must, should be a no brainer, but for whatever reason, maybe it's not as popular as they find it to be in the catalog. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I know people really love coffee scents and I totally get it. I don't I don't know why that it's, it's not a thing, but if you ever see Coffee Tree, come back and bring back my bar. Make sure you add it to your Sunsea Club. That way you won't miss out. Okay, next question is from my girl Kayla. Hi, Kayla. She said, what are the odds of a bring back my Disney bar? I would seriously love that. I would love it too. I totally agree, especially because at this point, since our partnership with Disney, um, our partnership with Disney was at 2018, I think. We've had a lot of limited time Disney fragrances and some fragrances that have been in the catalog and have retired. Dumbo, oh Dumbo. Um, I do have Dumbo in my club and um, I just, I couldn't imagine my life without it. I know that sounds so like sad, but seriously, like we've had some really amazing Disney fragrances and I'm glad that like like the villains, they'll, they'll come back from time to time 
but an actual like bring back my Disney bar would be incredible. So what are the odds? I think that they will probably do that at some point because I've, I've heard people suggest that. I've heard people say we should really do that. I think it would be a really smart thing and I don't think it would be too difficult since we don't have like thousands and thousands of Disney bars like we do regular scents. So I feel like it would be even easier to do a bring back my Disney bar than it would be like a regular bring back my bar. So what are the odds? I would, I think, I think it's realistic to think that it will be a thing at some point. I don't know when, but I think it's realistic. I think it's realistic. And then just a little side note, Crystal, she had <laughs> made a comment on Kayla's comment saying my first, my Scentsy heartbreak is Dumbo. I need, I need it to add to my club. I know. I know. Oh, I feel for you, Crystal. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Next question is from our friend Shannon. Hi, Shannon. She says, where did you get the white drawers behind you? I'd love to store my Scentsy bars in those. So these right here, this whole room is um, furnished in Ikea <laughs> furniture. I laugh because my husband loves uh, putting together Ikea furniture. It's the best. Told you he was going to moan and groan at some point. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so these cubes are the Calax uh, series from Ikea, but then these drawers are the Alex 9 drawers from, from Ikea. And there's all different like sizes and like this is just specifically the Alex 9 drawer. I've got these here as well as here and I've got bars in there. Um, I have like over here I've got like scent circles and um, scrubs and soaks and things like that. So um, but this one's pretty much all made up of bars. So um, it's it's a great system, especially to keep yourself organized. It's, I, I love the system. It's, it's amazing. So there you have it. So from Ikea, you can order online too. If you, if I feel like everyone lives like two hours away from an Ikea, like that has to be the thing. <laughs> Anytime that I talk to my friends of like, oh, I'm going to Ikea. It's like, you got to make like a day trip of it because it takes you like an hour at minimum to get to Ikea. I feel like nobody lives next to an Ikea. So if it's not super convenient, you can actually order online. Um, also these baskets underneath here, these were all Ikea as well. It was made for the, for that system. That's what I love about Ikea is that any of the like storage options, like for the baskets and stuff, they're all made to fit in, in these systems. So it fits perfectly. Uh, let me see here. Jessica also says, can you request a Disney bring back my bar and some more coffee scents? Um, yeah, I, I totally, I know. <laughs> You're not the only one that wants the coffee scents. Absolutely. And I do agree with the Disney bring back my bar. I think, I think that will be a thing. I just don't know for sure. Like I said, I don't have any secret squirrel information, but I do think it's realistic to, to think that that could be a thing going forward at some point. Uh, let me see here. Next question is from Amanda. Hi, Amanda. So she asked, did you and Sean talk about having kids at one time? Um, I have my youngest daughter, Faith, that is almost 12. I have a son that's 23 years old and a daughter that's 21 years old. My two older kids' names are Michael and Mariah. So, um, hi friends. Hi. <laughs> um, with Sean and I, so for anyone who is a new friend hanging out here, my husband's name is Sean. We do not have children. We don't plan to have children. Um, did we talk about it? I mean, kind, yeah, briefly, just because for us, that's just, it's what you're supposed to do, right? We were the first of our friends to get married. Um, I, I was 21 when we got married. And so that was just like the thing that you're supposed to do, right? And so we got married and then we decided, you know, we'll take a year to ourselves and, you know, have fun and whatever. And then like the year mark came around and you know, more of our friends were getting married and now our friends were starting to get pregnant. And so we were like, so, so should we, should we like start a family <laughs> or like, and we were just talking and, it, and neither one of us really had that like, I don't want to say we don't have the parental gene because I do feel like we would be great parents, but we just never really felt the need or I, I hate to say want to have children, but because uh, we, we, we do enjoy children. <laughs> we do, we like our friends' kids. We love our friends' kids. Um, we like being around them, but then we also like leaving them with their parents for us to come back home, you know? So it, it was just not in the cards for us. It was just something that we didn't feel like it was meant to be for us. We, and we were fortunate enough that it wasn't a situation where we were struggling to get pregnant. Um, you know, our heart, break for our friends that 
um, are trying, trying, trying so hard to get pregnant and they can't. And, you know, here we are making the decision not to, and it feels kind of selfish, but um, it was just something where we just felt like we just didn't feel like we necessarily wanted to be parents. Um, fill my house with dogs all day long, but I just, we, both of us just never really felt the need to really want to, to grow our family. So like I said, we've, we've got friends with kids, so we will happily spoil them and get our kid fix with our friends. Um, but in, after that, we'll just, like I said, fill my house with dogs. So yeah, it, it was just one of those things where, you know, at a certain point after we got married, we were like, okay, so this is kind of what we're supposed to do. Right. But then I remember we sat down and we were talking like, like, do you really feel like you want to? Cause I'm not sure that I necessarily want to. And we were both on the same page. It was just something that like is just instilled in your brain that you get married, you have the children, this is what you do. And that's just not necessarily what we wanted. So we just kind of stuck with that. Um, so, cause I, she had asked because in the last Q and A we had talked about um, I'm having a hysterectomy, but even before that, and I'm I'm having issues, which is why I'm having the hysterectomy. It's not like a form of birth control or anything. Um, I need to have the hysterectomy done, and I I will be having it done at some point. Still no surgery date. Thank you for those of you who have um, commented or sent me messages asking what's the update. I have no update. I'm just kind of waiting by the phone, and then they'll call me and say here's your surgery date. Let's do this. Uh, but even before that, Sean had had a vasectomy. Gosh, has it been eight years, I think. So really, honestly, kids are not, the, they're not in the picture for us. So um, yeah, that was just, that's, that's just how, how we've been playing it out. Um, my girl, Christine says, uh, do you choose scents from the bar wall first? Um, Typically I'll look there first because they're already out. <laughs> they're already out and there for me to look at what's there. Um, this is not really, there's no real rhyme or reason to, uh, there is a rhyme and reason. It's just done by color coding, <laughs> if you could see. So yeah, my bar wall is all just rainbow color coordinated. It's not by fruity bakery, anything like that. Um, the only other thing is that like down here, I've got just my licensed bars there at the bottom, but everything else is just color coordinated. So I'll just look, I'll just look and see, okay, so what, what do I have here? <laughs> what do I have here? Does anything that's right here looking at me dead in the face, speak to me for what I want to warm. And if it doesn't, then I've got bars. Um, like I said, I've got bars in my drawers here. I also have some bars in these baskets. Um, these baskets are organized by, uh, the baskets are organized by scent category. So I've got my bakery, I've got my like tree earthy type scents, and then I've got my fruity. So I've got those. And then my drawers are also organized that way. I want the bars that are with their friends <laughs> to be like fragrances, but also to make sure that there's some airflow as well. So that way the bars don't all start to smell the same, but just in case, at least they are all like mixing. Cause I don't want to put like very snowy spruce with almond croissant. And then I'm going to smell a bakery tree scent <laughs> potentially if they're like together for too long and not like getting enough airflow. I just, I, I don't want to take that risk. <laughs> so, but yes, to answer your question, I do go to the bar wall first just to see, what my situation is here, because it's most convenient, if I'm being honest, it's just most convenient to just look me dead in the face and say, yep, I'll grab that, thank you. <laughs> so, um, I've, so yeah, um, if I don't see it there, then I go to the baskets or the drawers. Okay, uh, next one is from our friend Sybil, and Sybil says, I'm new to Scentsy Club, whoop whoop, it's an amazing program, isn't it? Oh, I love it. For anyone who is maybe newer here, you will hear me talk about Scentsy Club all the time because it is a fantastic program. I love this program. It's a subscription service that Scentsy offers, totally free, totally no strings attached. Um, there's all kinds of perks. When you have $30, that's US pricing. When you have $30 in your Scentsy Club subscription, um, you get 10% off your order. So if you're getting a whiff box every single month, you should just automatically add it to your Scentsy Club because automatically you're gonna be getting that for 10% off. The other perks, you've got brick perks. So you've got some of our best-selling fragrances available in brick size. One thing I do wanna put out there that has nothing to do with this here, but I've gotten some questions from some friends saying, hey, why can't I add our holiday bricks? Cause right now we have our holiday bricks that are available. Um, why can't I add our holiday bricks to my Scentsy Club? 
Here's the thing. So you can add the brick fragrances to your Scentsy Club and get your Always Get My Bar perk, but they'll be in bar size. They will not be in the full brick size. I don't know why. I, this is just the holiday bricks are just a limited time offer and they're not something that's going to be offered in Scentsy Club. You can, however, get your holiday bricks, brick fragrances in bar size by adding them to your Scentsy Club and you can get them forever and ever and ever. So amazing, amazing, amazing program. If you have questions, definitely let me know. I I'm super passionate about it because I mean, you guys have seen, <laughs> you guys have seen through my Scentsy Club edits how much I love this program. So yeah. And I know a lot of you feel the same way that I do. <laughs> so getting back to the question, Sybil says, uh, bring back my bar. She's also new to bring back my bar. When it comes time to buy from bring back my bar sale, will I be able to add those items to my club? And I know I answered your question in the comments. I know I actually wrote to it, but this is a really great question. So I did want to address it. And the answer is yes. Yes. Anytime there is a limited time fragrance, whether it's like I said, villains collection whether it's muppets looney tunes a limited time offering or bring back my bar or holiday bricks anytime that there is a scent that is a limited time offer only available while supplies last you have the duration of when that scent is available or 30 days after the launch to add it to your scentsy club whatever happens later so if let's just say the holiday bricks let's say they all sell out in a week um, if they also out in a week, you still have 30 days after that launch day to add that scent to your Scentsy Club. So it's amazing. I, I, I love that they offer that to us because maybe you're wanting to order it first, get it in your house, get it in your hands, get it in your warmers, warm it, see if you enjoy it, and then decide if you want to add it to your Scentsy Club. So you have the time to do that because you've got a month. So just don't wait for like that 30 day, <laughs> that, that, that 30th day, and then decide, I'm going to go ahead and order it now and decide if I'm going to like, no, don't mess around, order it when it launches, <laughs> see if you like it, see if it's what I call club worthy. Um, and then, and then you can add it to your club or you can be like me and you're like, yep, I know I'm going to like that. It's going in. Cause you can always do that too. So with the bricks, there's some people who are like, that's a lot of a commitment. <laughs> that's a full pound of wax. I don't know that I'm ready for that kind of a commitment. If I don't like the scent, then I'm stuck with this much wax. So some people will actually add it to their Scentsy Club first in bar size, give it a try, give it a sniff, give it a warm. And then if they decide they love it, they'll keep it in their club, but then they can also order it in the brick size because it's more bang for your buck. So but yes, Sybil, to answer your question, anytime there is a limited time fragrance that comes out, whether it's a limited time collection, scent of the month, um, if it's Bring Back My Bar, no matter what it is, bricks, they are available to add to your Scentsy Club. So be prepared <laughs> for your club to get out of control. Um, let me see here. So the next one, um, Andrea says, how many warmers do you have in your house that you use on a daily basis. So this changes, this changes with the seasons. Um, cause I will change out. Well, it, it changes regularly, <laughs> I should say, cause I have a lot of warmers. And so I like to switch them out. Some may be added. You may see my new villains guy here. Um, so, you know, with the seasons changing, I will change up my, my warmers. Sometimes I'll add some, um, you know, it, it, it changes is all I'm trying to say. But currently, currently I have 32 warmers. Don't judge me. <laughs> what you need to know is, so I've got a lot of warmers in here, obviously. This is not normal. <laughs> this is obviously, I have this display. I love it. I absolutely, this is my, like, this is my Zen room. This is, this is the room where I come in and I'm just like, ah, this is my space. I just, I love this room. I love this room so much. So, but obviously like this is displayed because I'm recording videos, right? So I want to have a nice display in my background. Um, so obviously like if this was a typical like bedroom or office, there'd be like one or two warmers in here rather than a handful. And yes, there are, there is wax in all of those. Um, so thir I've got 32. <laughs> it, it is what it is. I, I'm not apologizing. This is just, it's my thing. My house smells good. I'm not worried about it. it's it's my thing it's my thing I could have worse addictions okay so I love it um so yes I do currently I have 32 usually it's it's around the 30 
the 30 mark. <clears throat> okay, well, let me see here. <clears throat> Next one is actually an email. And let me see here. This is an email from our friend uh, Alma. And she says, in your calculation, what's the total stocks of your waxes? Do you still have waxes in your possession that you, since you started as a Sensi independent consultant? Um, so I, I don't count my, I know a lot of people are like, give us a total, <laughs> give us a total of how many wax bars that you have. How much, how much do you think you have in value of wax? I can't really tell you value wise, like how much I've spent on wax or anything, because a lot of times what I'll do is, um, I mean, first of all, since I'm a consultant, I'm getting my commission on it. So I'm getting some kickback from that. But also like if I've got a party going for myself and I've got rewards going, I'll use my rewards on my, on my wax and my warmers and, and my stuff. So, you know, that is taken off of that as well is in terms of actual like number of bars. I have no idea. I know I I'm sure I have a few hundred. Um, I, I, I'm sure I have a few hundred. I don't bother counting to be honest because I go through wax at such a rapid rate with 32 warmers. <laughs> so I always have wax warming in in my warmers. So I'm going through a few bars at a time. And so while I'm going through wax at this rate, I'm also getting new orders in, whether it's my Scentsy Club or things that are launching that I'm getting new wax in. Um, it just, I feel like it's kind of pointless to count because it's gonna be off within the next like week anyway. So I don't bother counting, but I'm sure I've got a few hundred bars. <laughs> It's just, it, it's my thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna apologize for it, it's just my thing. So I love this question where she says, do you still have waxes in your possession since you started as a Sensi independent consultant? So, and then I think she was asking, the, I think the wording, there was like some typos, but I think she was asking like having wax this long if it loses the fragrance. I haven't found that. In fact, usually if you have like a brand new wax, a, a brand new bar, and you're finding that it's a pretty light performer, hang on to, if you have any additional bars of it, hang on to it. Let those fragrance oils cure a little bit because usually that's going to be a pretty fresh pour. I know some of my friends will actually put dates on their, on their warmer or on their bars so that they know like when they got it. So that way, you, you know, okay, let this sit for you know, a couple weeks and then I'll go back and I'll rewarm it. And then usually you should get um, a little better performance if it's weaker in the beginning. So, but over a certain, like these bar, these bars are old. You guys, <laughs> these bars are really old. All of these are from 2009. So, and oh, they're so good. They are so, so good. So, I'm, and I'm going to show you the packaging because I, I, I'm totally into seeing like vintage stuff as well. So, um, I hope you guys do too. Um, so like these guys are not going to be like crazy powerhouses or anything, uh, because they've sat for so long. It's not like it's, it's going to blow the roof off the house or anything, but they, they will still absolutely perform. They will still absolutely perform some waxes. It, I haven't, it, and it, that's the other thing. It does depend on how you're storing them. I have had some of my friends buy waxes, bo Scentsy bars on Mercari and eBay, and you don't know how those are being stored, you guys. Um, I had a friend who received a bunch of bars that she had purchased on Mercari, and she was like, it's just, it's not what I remember. Like, it was a bar that she knew she loved, and she was like, I, all I smell is chemical. It's like a chemical smell. And, and it was super discolored. And so I'm like, chances are they did not, these bars were not stored correctly. Meaning, were they stored in the heat? Were they stored in their garage during the summertime? Were, how were they stored? Were they stored in direct sunlight? Um, you know, these things all play into how, you know, you have to care for these. If you want them to last for years and years to come, these are, all three of these are from 2009. If I pop any of these into my warmers right now, they're gonna perform as amazing as, I don't want to say the day I got them because it may be better, <laughs> you know, depending on, um, you know, if they were weak when they first start, all three of these were never weak, but, um, they're still going to perform really great. They absolutely will. So it's all in how you're caring for your wax. So just keep that in mind when you are buying, I'm not saying don't buy on Mercari, um, you know, do you do your thing, but just be, be aware of what you're buying on Mercari. Ask for actual pictures of the bars, ask how they were stored, you know, and know that. Cause usually on Mercari and things like that, you're not 
going to get your money back for things like that but okay so the longest bars that I have or the oldest bars that I have and I will tell you I'm glad that you asked this question because I'm I'm having a minor anxiety attack because there is another bar that is around here somewhere it is coconut palm around the same period of time like 2009 ish I don't know where it is <laughs> I'm like it was right here it was right here um I don't know where it is and I know I didn't warm it so gotta pat down my husband see if he's getting into my bars so let's talk about these I've got these three that I that I know are definitely my eldest bars and I love them and this is this is why I am hanging on to them because they are wonderful I still have a bar and a half of key lime tortilla look at that packaging you guys this was a bring back my bar look at that bring back my bar packaging love it um and then the old Scentsy logo this is so good it, it's it really it's perfect for key lime tortilla I love the key lime you get a little like mellow hit of that tortilla and it's just I love it and that's why and that's why I'm hanging on to it I have like I said I have another bar and a half of this it drives my husband crazy when he's like but I don't see the point of hoarding things if you love it so much if you love it you should warm it and enjoy it I get I get that men mentality but then when it's gone it's gone <laughs> at least now I'm like I can just stick my sniffer in it real quick and get a little hit <laughs> anytime that I feel like I need a little pick-me-up um, also, you can see I'm really hanging on to the last four cubes of this guy. Uh, cranberry Muffin, another 2009 bar. Bring back my bar. Old Scentsy logo. Only four cubes left. I would absolutely stick this one into my club. If Honestly, any three of these that come... I wish I could pick a Bring Back My Bar. <laughs> oh, man, I would go ham. I'm sure we all wish that, but... Ugh. It's so good. It's the perfect cranberry muffin. It's cranberry and it's pastry and it's so good. So sweet and so perfect for fall. I I would I would put a hurting on this if we if we had this available to order right now. Last but not least, uh also 2009, I believe this was 2009. Um yes, 2009 again. Oh, you guys know. Very Perry Pumpkin. Oh, this was actually a scent of the month. See, check that out. That was a scent of the month. Oh, so good. It's so good. This is what I wanted Perfect Pumpkin Pear to be, and it's just not. And I'm not saying that if Perfect Pumpkin Pear is your jam, that's awesome. It's just not what I wanted it to be. This is sweet pumpkin, sweet pear, no spice. It's just pumpkins and pears and it's absolute perfection I have a couple of bars of these I had a couple on my own but then my girlfriend gifted me with some she was like here I've got some bars from when I was a consultant here you go so uh, I love these but yeah so these would be my eldest bars um some of my most treasured bars because they're not in my club if these are ever made available again these will absolutely go into my club hands down I don't care if it breaks the bank those three would would definitely go but it's super fun to see like the older packaging and stuff so let's move on to our next question and actually it looks like Alma actually has another question um I just didn't see it down at the bottom of this email do you have any suggestions so that our sales go up despite of my social media advertisements and promote Sensi, it's like a lot of my friends ignoring it's like a lot of my friends are ignoring me because I'm selling and they don't want to be bothered so the thing the thing that I always recommend to consultants is just to stay authentic and true to who you are. Don't try to be something or someone that you're not. Um, don't look at S Susie Sunshine who's rocking her sensey business and copy and paste her posts or anything like that. Like, be authentic to who you are. Whatever it is that excites you about this business, share that with your friends. I am not a salesperson. I'm not. Um, I just simply... I'm, I'm buying the products because I love them. I am sharing with you what excites me about, I don't buy every single thing. I know it looks like I buy every single thing, <laughs> but I don't actually buy every single thing. Um, you know, I'm gonna buy something that interests me. If I have 
Um, if I have something that comes in that's maybe for a local friend and I may ask them if I'm not buying one for myself, hey, would you mind if I unbox this on my channel? I'll put it back together perfectly. Would you mind? You know, I'll always ask, but I don't buy everything just to buy everything. So just be authentic to who you are. So um, if they are telling you that they're not interested in Scentsy, don't push it like that. I, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but just don't push it. Share what it is that you are excited about. Share what you're warming. That's I mean, that's the thing. I think a lot of consultants kind of overthink and they're thinking, oh, my gosh, well, I, I have to do this type of a post or this or this or that. How are you using Sensi in your day to day life? How are you using it? Because those around you are gonna see how you're using it in your day-to-day -day life and say, oh, that dish soap looks amazing, or you really like that, um, or you know, you're loving this laundry, this uh, laundry line, you're loving this scent of the month, you're loving this warmer, and then just show it. So show what how you're using it, and hopefully your friends and family around you will wanna be a part of it as well. Um, if you do have friends and customers who are purchasing from you, ask them if they wouldn't mind sharing your business. As far as the advertisements, I don't do any paid advertising. I just feel like, I don't know, it's, I, that's not me. <laughs> it's not me. I just feel like I would rather, um, I don't know, it just, it's just not me. I, I feel, I've heard of people doing the paid advertisements and haven't gotten anything from it, or if they did, it wasn't enough to really make a difference. So. Um, I just say, you know, for those of you, for those of your friends who are supporting your business, spoil them, treat them like gold, ask them, you know, would you mind sharing, sharing my business? If you know anyone who is interested in Sensi, um, you know, would you mind, you know, sharing my business, host a party for yourself. Um, I know we're in the middle of a pandemic still. So maybe, you know, if you're not comfortable with doing a home party, do an online party, invite your friends, see who might be interested in going share what it is that you love about Sensi. See about if any of your friends would want to book a party from that party um, and earn some free and half price stuff for that for themselves. But the biggest thing is don't cold message people. Don't um, don't copy and paste what somebody else is posting or or saying, you know, always just stay as authentic to who you are as possible. They will come around if you're sharing it. And if you are loving it, if you are genuinely loving the product, they're going to come around. So be patient. This journey doesn't, I mean, some people, this journey happens overnight and they, it's like overnight success. That wasn't my story. Um, it took me several years to get to where I'm at, but, um, the biggest thing is I've always just stayed as authentic and true to who I am as possible. You're not going to find me cold messaging people or anything like that. Cause that's just, it's not me. It's, it's not me. Um, let me see here. So I, I hope that helps. I hope it helps. Also watch all the trainings. Sensi gives us a ton of resources. We've got Tuesday trainings. There's a ton of trainings here on YouTube. Um, there's trainings on Facebook pages and stuff. So definitely pour into your business that way as well. Um, this is from, this next one is from our friend Bonnie. She says, do you put wax in all your warmers or do you use some for just decoration? Personally, <laughs> I've got a lot of wax to get through. So I do personally put wax in all of my warmers. Every single warmer in this house has wax in it. You don't have to. I actually do have some friends who are like, um, I, you know, is it okay? Like I have a bunch of warmers, but I don't like super strong scent. Is it okay if I just have wax in one warmer and then maybe another warmer? I don't. Absolutely. It's totally fine. Nothing's going to happen. So, um, but for me personally, <laughs> I'm extra. I've got a lot of wax, so I have wax in all of my warmers. Okay, next one. And it is the last one. So I know this is getting long. It's just, it's fine. Um, this is from our friend Anna and she's writing from Dallas, Texas. Hello, hello. Um, I just have a few questions I would like to ask. Um, number one, how do you reply when someone is interested in buying products, but then they say they're too pricey or say they can just get a warmer at their local Walmart and it would be way cheaper. I get asked this often. Um, that's yeah, <laughs> you will get asked, you will get asked this all the time, or you will have someone who has their own opinions and they'll say, Hey, I'm giving Sensi a try and I don't feel like it's worth it. I don't feel like it's worth the, um, the cost difference and that that's fine. They're entitled to their opinions. I feel like it's a superior product. Um, the thing that you're getting with Sensi, you're getting the service as well. 
So you are not only purchasing the product, but you are investing in the relationship of your consultant as well. So you're not going to go into a Walmart or wherever and buy a warmer and wax and call up Walmart the next day and say, hey, I don't really care for this scent. Do you have a, a mixture idea? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. So with this, you are paying for the quality product. You are paying for the quality in the warmer. You can see personally, and I'm not, I'm, I'm always open and honest. I'll tell you, I don't love 100% of Scentsy products. There may be something that I don't partic particularly care for. I'm always an open book and totally transparent. You, for me personally, I can see a significant difference in the warmer quality, 100%. So you are paying for the quality difference. You're also paying for, like I said, the relationship with the, the consultant who is going to be offering to help you um, whenever they possibly can. Our warmers have lifetime warranties. That's incredible. If there is ever a warmer that you get, say you bought a warmer 10 years ago and you have a customer that comes to you or you something happens with that warmer and you're like, ah, what? but since he has a lifetime warranty, maybe this warmer isn't available anymore. So you go to the consultant. So this is, sorry, I started to, to say, if you have a customer that comes to you, cause this is, there's a few different scenarios that can happen. So if you have a customer that comes to you and says, hey, I've got a warmer that, the, there's an electrical issue that I tried switch, switching out the bulbs. No bulbs are working. It's not turning on. What do I do? Um, and you're like, well, they didn't buy it from me because I've only been a Sensi consultant for a year, five months, whatever. Sensi will always honor that. No matter if they bought the warmer from a consultant 10 years ago or wherever, um, that person doesn't have to be a consultant anymore. You can just work with a consultant and you can get that warmer replaced. You just have to contact support and let them know what warmer it is. Let them know what the issue is. A lot of times, even if the warmer isn't available anymore, a lot of times they do still have the warmer to be able to replace, which is amazing. Not all the time. So if in a situation where there is something wrong with a warmer that, um, is no longer available and they don't have a replacement, they will offer um, an even, like an even exchange, I guess. So for the same value warmer, you can exchange it for one that's available. So there's always something that can be done there. So you're also getting that, you're not getting a lifetime warranty with your Walmart warmers. You're not getting that. <laughs> so if you have a bulb that, not a bulb that burns out, cause obviously that needs to be replaced. But if you've got um, an electrical issue or some, manufacturer defect with that warmer, um, Walmart, you're just out of luck, you know? So, and honestly, for the price difference, you should have a lifetime warranty with these warmers. Absolutely. So you're also getting that. So just, I would just let them know, Hey, and if it's your friends, then you can kind of joke around with them and be like, but you get me along with it. <laughs> Like you don't get me with your Walmart warmers and wax. Um, you know, you get me with this purchase. I'm going to be here to help you. Um, you know, obviously the lifetime warranty, things like that. And you see the quality difference. So, but I don't push the issue. If they are happy, if they are happier with their Walmart warmers and wax, knock yourself out. But there is a difference. And I think have putting it out there on what you see the differences are, just share that and just say, you know, if you ever want to try Sensi again, you know, let me know kind of thing. So I hope that helps. Um, what do you do with your older testers? Do you get rid of them or warm the wax? So I personally don't what I will do. Well, sometimes I do. So if there is a scent that is no longer available, it's retired, it's not coming back. Sometimes I will go ahead and pop the wax out and enjoy it. Not always though. So usually what I'll do, because I always get full sets of testers every single catalog season, um, one set always goes with my husband to work and one stays with me. And I've got one that is um, a basket party that just, that floats around to my local friends. So I've got three sets of testers that I get every single catalog season. And so as consultants, those testers pile up. So what I will do is I'll usually offer to do what I call like PO box parties or parties in a box. And so I will save all my whiff boxes and I will take any of my older testers that the testers are still available. I just don't need that set anymore. Like your Amazon rain, apple butter frosting, baked apple pie, vanilla bean buttercream, those scents that stay around all the time, 
you, it's in an older set, but you no longer need that tester, I will bundle it up and I will put it in a box with some other goodies and I'll ship it to my host and I will say, here's, you know, here's a box party. I will usually pair it with a Facebook party and then that way your host has a little box that they can then share with their friends and family, have like a little set of testers that they can share. Now, it, it doesn't have to be a ton of testers. I'll usually do like 10, 15 testers um, if you can do five, you know, but definitely like take those testers and ship them out like have your customers um have your customers enjoy them have them share it with their friends and family i have seen um a much better reaction um, and better results with my parties when they have testers in their hands to be able to share and then it allows your non-local customers to feel like man i'm i'm getting the benefits of having a party and you know i don't have to be local so um, I always, I like doing it that way too, but definitely don't let it just sit around and collect dust. Pop the wax out, enjoy it. Why not? Um, let me see here. So she, third question, I'm addicted to Scentsy just like you. I love it. <laughs> and have a collection of warmers myself, but out of the warmers, oil diffusers and fan diffusers, which one do you think delivers the best? I feel like the pods don't last long. I actually don't have an issue with the pods. Um, I feel like the pods, especially when you have a, when you have a scent that usually doesn't perform in the wax, the paws are always the way to go. Always the way to go. I love it. Um, it's interesting that you don't think that the paws last very long. Um, I, I find them to be great. Um, but for me, if I had to choose one system that I think performs the best, it is, ah, but see, it's hard. <laughs> because so then, Wax and warmers are going to be the overall best performing system. It's going to be room filling. It's it's going to be great. With the wall fan diffusers and the pods, I would choose that system for the pods in the sense that the wax bar doesn't perform. <laughs> so I don't know if I could give you two answers. If I had to choose one, it would be wax and warmers. Absolutely, 100%, because that's what's going to give you the best performance personally. But make sure you're choosing the right wax with your warmers <laughs> to make sure that you are getting the best performance. Um, also, Anna asks, uh, number four, so this is her last question. If I'm not mistaken, you mentioned in one of your recent videos that you had 400 people in your group. How did that happen? <laughs> over time, girlfriend, over time. Um, I, she, she laughed. <laughs> I'm also a consultant, but I only signed up for myself like you did at the beginning and only sell to my friends, uh, my family and close friends or coworkers. However, the few times I've mentioned joining, everyone always says that they don't know who they would sell to. So it's easy to sell, but not so much to recruit. How do you do it? So, um, like I said, and like I had mentioned before, and like you had mentioned, um, I did not join this to do any kind of thing with it. <laughs> I did not want this to be a business. I just wanted to join just for myself and just for my own purchases. So when it came time for my my friend to join, I, th I think I told you guys this story before, but she, my, my girlfriend Allison was like, I'm gonna join your team. And I'm like, no, don't do it. <laughs> like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am not a leader join under my upline and she was like no i'm not doing that i'm gonna join under you so she did and so that was kind of a by accident thing um but over time as now all 400 are not people who i personally have sponsored or had joined my team people who have joined my team and then they have people join their team uh, they it's all under our like they're all in our group, but so I don't personally, I don't personally have four over 400 people sponsored, but, um, it's all about, it's all about sharing, you know, find people who are passionate about Sensi the way you are and share it. I know that they had mentioned that, you know, they don't have anybody to sell to or anything like that. Look at people who are hosting parties with you, people who are hosting parties with you and doing really well at it and are engaging with their friends and they love the product talk to them, ask them, just ask, you know, Hey, I'm not one to be like, join my team for $99. That's not me. So once again, stay authentic to who you are. D try not to sound like a cold template in any kind of way. Look at who this could benefit. So who has, who has the love for Sensi? Who is purchasing from you on a regular basis? Who is like I said, genuinely passionate about the product and just say, hey, have you thought about joining? I see that you love Sensi as much as I do. I just didn't know if you've ever thought about 
thought about joining. Just keep it casual. That's the thing about when you're having these join conversations, like I said, I am not one to be like, join my team. I just, I can't do it. Um, I look at who could benefit from this opportunity, who I see myself in, who, um, who just genuinely loves the product. Cause if they don't like the, if, if you have someone who's never tried Scentsy before, don't have them join, <laughs> have them try the products first, see if they like it. Cause if they don't like the product, if they're not passionate about the product, they're not going to sell the product. And maybe it's something where um, they want to be a hobbyist. That's okay. Like I have a lot of people on my team who are hobbyists and I support that. I, that's exactly the reason why I joined. There are some people who only want rock stars on their team. And you know, I only want people who are going to promote and do big things. And I'm here, I'm here for the little guys too. Absolutely. Um, I'm here for the rock stars and I'm going to cheer you on all day long, but I'm also here for the hobbyists because I totally understand that. So look at how it could benefit your friends lives, how it fits into their lives and just have the casual conversation with them and just say, Hey, have you ever thought about joining? And if they've had parties with you and they've been successful, you can just say, yeah, but remember, remember when you had that party, how, how engaging your friends were. Do you remember that? Um, yeah. So just j don't overthink it. And, um, if they say no, maybe it's just not right now. Um, and then if they place a large order with you, maybe just offer that up again, just say like you're placing a large order. You could make, you know, you could get this much back on this order. Um, also the host exclusive starter kits. The host exclusive starter kits are an amazing opportunity to grow your team. So whether you are gifting a kit, if you have one that's available personally, or if you have a host that qualifies for it, um, ask the host at that point. If $99 is a lot to purchase because 90, it's a it's hundred bucks. Not everybody has a hundred bucks to, to start something that they don't know if it's going to do, they're going to do anything with it. So having that um, reduced kit, is a great opportunity as well. So um, definitely don't forget about the host exclusive starter kit. So just know it takes time. It takes time, stay authentic to who you are um, and just you know share how Sensi is fitting into your life and people, people will wanna be a part of it and just make sure you're sharing. Share, share, share. Okay, so I think that's it. That is it for now, uh, that's it. <laughs> it's under an hour, <laughs> so there's that. Thank you guys so much. If you have a question you would like to be answered in the next Q and A, um, I don't know when it's going to be. It just depends on what questions come in. It could be a month. It could be a week. I don't know. Um, it just depends on the questions that come in. If there's no questions, there won't be another Q and A. So, um, so yeah, if you have a question, you can either comment on this video directly and I will read the comment in the next Q and A, or you can send me an email. My email is lmroberry at gmail.com. And I would be happy to answer any questions. I'm a total open book, totally transparent. So um, I'm, I'm happy to share any and all of the things. Thank you guys so much. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you will stick around and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I hope you hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things that's going on with Sensi and just in the Roberry household, generally speaking. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.